Hey guys, um... Alright, A Pain 3 here, and I'm going to be showing how to make an advanced muzzle flash on this tutorial. And just go to File, Import Files. Ah. There you go. So I'm going to go to libraries, videos, double click, okay, so now we have the clip right here, drag it into this little box, alright, so now pretty much just find the time where the muzzle flash occurs. And right there. We're just gonna see what my uh my my index finger closes on the gun. That's really when you want to What the just happened? Okay, I guess I do have a lot of stuff on my crew. Okay, so right here. So right there, right? I... So right here. It says when you want it to mimic the kickback. All the event so we're gonna we're gonna close in on that we're gonna go to file import file again find the file I want I'm using action essentials 2 and we're gonna go to muzzle flashes and 14 is a really good just like straight single muzzle flash which I really think they do desperately need more muzzle flashes um there we go, importing. And there it is. So you're going to want to bring it onto the screen right here. And there you go, now it's down here. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to zoom in and just drag over there. And so, oh, 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 oh. And you can't really get more perfect than that. So you're going to want to bring this in. Uh, yeah, that's an alright. That's, that's okay. No, that's that's. Yeah, that looks good right here. So there we go. Now we uh. So there we go. So now we're going to T, Shift S, oh, Shift P, but we're going to go to Effect, Glow, and it's under Stylize. I don't, it's, and you really want all that orange to uh, leave. Yeah, right there. That's pretty good. 29.8 uh, for this effect. Tiniest but an orange. So you're going to put TSP and just click down on all of those and there you go so you're going to want to go to next frame next frame and position the smoke on the barrel of the gun and there we go I'm just zeroing in on the position right here and so now what we're going to do next is so we have the, the the kick the flash and the smoke of the gun now all we need here is the environmental change see now now this isn't perfect this is a very quick tutorial guns can be a lot more defined than this so then right here you're gonna uh, get rid of all this
click down here, Control D, stay on this footage. Uh, if you have it on this mode, just press toggle searches mode. Um, add, and there you go. So now you're just gonna go to the pen tool and pen out parts of your in the scene, like my fat ass face, that are going to be affected by the flash. So here we go. We're gonna, I'm just gonna highlight right here. Right there, that's how they outlined. Alright, let's say a little bit of my arm. Let's see some of my shoulder. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That one's not good. There we go. So, now you're going to want to go to the elliptical mask tool. And if you don't have it, just hold in the left click and release it on the elliptical mask. And I'm going to retry on that one. Just press the backspace to retry. A lot of people don't know that, actually. Just uh, backspace it up. So, there you go. Um... F to feather it. I'd say bring them up to uh, say 50. 50 is pretty good. 50. Um, now, this is going to sound weird, but you're going to want to kind of dilute it on the wall. So I'd say about a hundred. Really crank it up on the wall over there. But I'm gonna say, let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say forty-five, I believe. And uh, yeah, forty-five. I'm gonna say forty-five. There we go. So, there we go. We got our, uh, so, um, feathering is done. And we're going to go to T, opacity, 100. So then we're going to go to the next scene. Bring it down a little bit, like, uh, down to 70. And then the next scene. Because this will be going, like, two frames. So I'd say about 29. And then just uh, beast it down to zero. So uh, that's the um, the effect. Now, as you can see, it affects the natural environment, and uh, it's going. It's this is a proceed. Seeing on my face right here is actually affected by the flash coming out of the gun. That it, it, it looks delayed, but you'll notice. Um, Right before the flash, when it's only two per frames per second, that it's gonna have to be a little bit in advanced. But um, what you can do to fix that actually is just one before the that. Just uh, so there you go. Now watch, quick fix right there, and that's how you make an advanced most flash. Uh, if you guys like the tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be doing a first person one uh, to show. Um, how to do a first person muzzle flash not just single fire like this but a first person machine gun fire and a behind the back fire and tracking blood on the wall so it doesn't go with the frame and a plasma grenade from Halo Reach and a lot of cool stuff like that Hamayamaya. all tutorials um, this is my first one ever so uh, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me and this render for this one scene would only be about two seconds so, uh, we can actually, I'm going to show you guys how to render a video. You're going to go to Composition, um, Add to Render QU. And you can see down here if you want to edit it before, but just Render QU. Uh, if you want audio, go to Output 2. Oh, well, this is where you want it to, to, um, to be. So, I'm going to put Best Muzzle Flare. And so it's going to save there. 
now this is really important guys make sure when you when you are recording your um your video that uh, output mode and audio output right there so that'll add the audio without that you won't have any audio so there we go now we're gonna render and uh, yep it's almost slowly but surely I'm running this on a laptop so if you guys are wondering if you really need a super strong PC it's not uh, not necessary anything can run after effects it's a very uh, compatible program so guys hope you enjoyed the pro uh, my first ever um, one so thank you appreciate it a lot for stopping by um, deuces